Hey folks, just wanted to show you a little behind the scenes work um, for some scenic painting that I'm doing at our local children's theater. I've inherited quite a bit of old paint in various premixed colors, and so I'm trying to use up as many different paints that I can. And so that means I could do a lot of mixing, which I actually really enjoy. Um, so I'm needing a little bit brighter of a yellow for the house boards that I'm needing to paint. And I only had a little bit of the brighter yellow, so I'm mixing it as much as I can. I knew I needed about a half a gallon of paint uh, based on how much paint it took to prime the boards earlier in the day. So I'm trying to fill this bucket and it's still a little bit too orangey which means I need to neutralize the red that is in this color. And the best way to do that is to add the complement, which is green. Um, and so I grabbed this greenish gray to mix in. And so I'm just mixing a tiny little sample just to see about what the ratio would be. And it ends up, you know, helping that yellow to not be quite so orange. So now I'll start mixing it in larger quantities and I'll just compare it to that sample on the plate that I have. So I really, really have enjoyed learning how to blend um, paint colors. My goal is to have um, just a stock of primary paint colors that I can blend you know, anything from. There are still some colors that it's nice to have a large quantity of pre-mixed, but for the most part, when you're working in smaller things, uh, mixing I think is the way to go. So these are all the boards that are laid out and primed already. There were about maybe three different paint jobs on these boards um, from various scenes and oh you can see Megan popping in bringing some more set pieces in and um, so yeah I'm just rolling out the base color and these will eventually become part of the house which is what she's building in the background. And uh, she'll come back through and add these boards onto the uh, main fixtures and it'll look like a house. So my job is to make these look like aged wooden boards. Oh yeah, you see me leave because I had to mix more paint. Um, which was easy to do because I knew uh, the recipe. And I have learned to keep track of my recipes um, for times when last minute set pieces come in. <laughs> it's good to know what you mixed before. Uh, so what you see me doing here is just using some dry brush uh, technique to add some wood grain, some aged crackly paint kind of, of a feel. And um, I use two different chip brushes that I actually will cut some little V's out of just to help spread out those bristles, but this is what old decrepit paintbrushes are really good for, is doing this kind of scratched in effect. And uh, what's crazy is this brown color that I'm using never seems to end. And this paint is so ancient, it stinks so bad. <laughs> but it's such a great color uh, for so many things. And so I keep using it and uh, yeah, there's a nice close-up of it. And you can see how I've cut the paint brushes to um, help with the effect. But yeah, that's it for this round. If you're interested in seeing more behind the scenes, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys.